So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. We have a very exciting video for you today. We really do. Wait till you see where we went. Let's just show you. And welcome to Ella's Enchanted Tree Houses. My name is Stacy Griffith, and I'm the owner here. And this is my daughter Ella of Ella's Enchanted Tree Houses. We have four tree houses, and we are located in Bittinger, Maryland, 15 minutes from Deep Creek Lake. One of the amenities here at Ella's Enchanted Tree Houses is our tremendous trail. It is a little over a half mile trail that the kids usually enjoy, and there are little nature creatures along the trail as you walk. Uh, this is the Daydreamer Treehouse. It sleeps six and it's also handicap accessible. So first thing I noticed, uh, the construction is fantastic. Yes. You know, just beautiful work and uh, the design. You designed these, is that correct? So I worked with, and my husband worked with architects and engineers to lay them out and um, get all the load calculations and those types of things. And then most of the design work and stuff was done by us together as a team. Ella has done some of it as well. So, um, and then of course our carpenters were excellent. Yeah, they did a fantastic job. Yes. Everybody involved did. Uh, what do you use to uh, heat these with? So we have many split units in each tree house and they have air conditioning and heat as well as in each bathroom there is baseboard heat that is uh, temperature controlled. And then we also have a standby generator in case of power outage. So it should be comfy cozy in the tree houses. So what are we looking at here? So this is a tab, which is called a uh, tab because it is a tree house attachment bolt. That's an acronym. And it is drilled into the tree and the tree heals around it. Um, this one's kind of new, but some of the other ones you'll see where the tree actually comes around the tab and just accepts it. And so um, it's a great working relationship and it also makes the tree more sturdy from the base to the top. I was standing on the other side of the deck and I'm like, wow, that looks like a wide spacing right there. But here, everything meets code, but it does not block your view of the woods. Very, very nice. Do you want to take a look inside now? Yeah, let's go in. So this barn wood here um, in the herringbone pattern was sourced from a barn that my husband tore down. And then our contractor took the different pieces and just made it really unique looking and did an awesome job. Yeah, there's the mini split you're talking about mm -hmm. right there. So you've yes. got your kitchen right here. Nice little, uh, where'd this wood come from? Do you know for the table? It came from the Amish country in Ohio. That is walnut and we purchased it as a slab and then they stained it and finished it. Beautiful. So you've, so you've got one bedroom back here. Yes, this is the master bedroom and it is um, on the ground level floor and it is handicap height as far as the, the bed height for people to easily access if they are wheelchair bound or handicapped. Really nice woodwork though. And so there's also a TV where you can watch DVDs and we do provide some DVDs. So tell me about this door. So these are two slabs, I believe they're walnut, and then they used acrylic in between to bond, bound, bind them together right. and then put the clear coat on and made it into a sliding barn door. Wow. So it just slides for privacy for the bedroom. We also tried to go with um, all nature themed things, like all of our hooks or twigs, yeah. or yeah. tried to keep things nature related. Yeah. 
So a lot of our handicapped people want to see this. Oh yeah. So our shower is handic fully handicap accessible with a fold down chair. So you don't even need to bring your own chair. We already provide one and the shower is spacious. So I'm going to head upstairs here. Nice, nice set of steps here. So the loft is the kids' favorite area, of course, where they can get oh, away yeah. from their parents <laughs> and hang out. I'm a big kid. I love yeah. this. <laughs> and it's pretty spacious, so they tend to be pretty cozy up here. And you're up here, I mean, from yeah. ground level. Yes, so you have some great tree views. We've got to be at least 25, 30 feet from the, yeah. Nice big closet here. Beautiful. Just everything. All the furniture. I mean, everything is just fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful work. So we are uh, currently on our West Virginia property and the wind is picking up down here. It sounds really nice through these pine trees. But yeah, what you just saw was the uh, Daydreamer Treehouse at Ella's Enchanted Treehouses. That's beautiful. Beautiful place. And by the way, there's going to be three more of them. Uh, I think we mentioned before there are four tree houses on their property. And so we'll have kind of our own little mini series here, maybe upload one a week. Uh, but they're fascinating uh really really nice people too yeah well thought out well designed um very solid just yeah top notch i really they just, didn't skimp on anything right, super impressed and uh casey and stacy very nice people and this isn't like some you know giant company said hey we're going to put these things here these are normal people that work jobs that invested a lot of time and a lot of money and made a lot of sacrifices to make a really a really cool place yeah and there's several reasons uh that we're doing a video like this number one uh we like cool stuff like that i mean we're outdoorsy people and i mean tree houses are you kidding me we gotta go see this and the way this happened was several months ago uh it's about what 40 minutes from our property here right something like that i was just looking in the area for different things and i stumbled upon these uh, so I emailed them and asked if uh, we could come do a video of them. I thought it was really interesting. So we emailed back and forth with uh, Stacy, and they're just a great family, hardworking. Yeah, and, uh, a lot of sacrifice. It all worked out. So number one, we like cool stuff like that. Number two, I think it's a great uh, way to uh, get ideas. Not many people are going to build a treehouse like that, but like I said, the attention to detail that they had in everything there you can get little ideas for maybe your home or your cabin or your camp mm -hmm. or something like that right uh, the other reason is it's a uh, a great way to get the word out uh, if someone wants to have a nice vacation or even for a night or two in a really really peaceful and unique place uh, all the links for ella's enchanted tree houses will be in the description their facebook page 
their website where you can book them if you're interested. Yeah, you book it through the website. We're going to do that at uh, some point here this spring and uh, spend the night in one of them. And uh, really, really nice, though. It is. Uh, uh, just the detail, the wood, the everything. I loved everything about it. And um, where the windows were and the view out the window, really well thought out. Um, they did great work. They really did. But I think that's about it for uh, today's video. If you enjoy this video and things like this, you can subscribe to our channel. Uh, like I said, there will be three more of them on Ella's Enchanted Tree Houses. And don't forget to check out all the links in the description. Thanks. Thanks. I think that was great. Yeah.